I got it, I closed the gate. Oh, the dog, sorry about that, guys. Oh, you're yeah, shooting me a little, man. Oh, God, that's all. Uh, just so many bugs. I have yeah, no clear shot. Shit, that's not Cerberus, is it? No. Don't I'll run anybody. around in front of that and stop aiming those yeah, slides on the road. Hello. So, are you guys uh, gonna give us actual or what? These fucking people. Bloody hell, man. Jesus. If these zombies were the people, you would have enough meat to have your brothers for a long time. Assuming that your brother was this way. Guns going off everywhere. There, don't walk. My adventures down south had left me tired, so I returned to the trade post. A horde of zombies had found their way to the entrance, so I watched as the people pooled together to deal with the problem. Don't. They will climb over and we can't shoot them as they come in. So keep this second gate open. Go. We uh, don't exactly have a way out. Bring more, I say! Exactly! Who's that guy? I like that guy. So. Come on, Zach, we gotta go. Bring him on, baby! Woo! Oh, I like to see lots of like his body, guys. Huh? I'm working on a <laughs> Lots of fucking bullets. I think I heard one. Cover up to a dolphin's eye uh, detail. Another contestant! Come on, right? Look at that! Yeah. I don't you think you want to see the dead body. No, but, he's uh, fine. Two of them, they're not the shooting. Oh God, you always just shot the guy. Oh, Careful. Shit. Bloody hell. Stop shooting. <laughs> Organization, Stop people. Shooting. Stop shooting. There you go. You, you shot He's him enough. I got you. You, you, you couldn't hit the broad side of a bar or just 50 randomly. meters, you goddamn dingus. Hey, you won't. Don't mistake oh. me for zombie, okay? Yeah, God darn. Gosh, they darn. Yeah, they deep. Man. Watch your crossfire. I don't like them. Give up, Cassie. I'll this way. As the incident started to slow down, I spoke with a CTC member about the situation. Jesus. Does this usually happen or is this uh, a, a ran random occurrence? No, it's kind of rare. Oh my god. I've never seen... It's rare, occasional. Like, I've never seen so many a lot of people are in there and a lot of people are making noise and... Cooking a lot of meat and like a lot of smoke goes off. We tend to get these hordes. They uh, they are attracted. Oh my! That's rather. That's rather. Well, well, since we wiped out the mega horde a couple of weeks ago, it's uh, it's not good too job. bad. Good job. I think it's all the Mega horde? What are you talking about? Mega right, horde? I've got to head out. Have a good night, guys. Oh yeah, a week or two ago, I mean, we annihilated a couple hundred of them. If not thousands, we actually had to set in armor and stuff. Oh, and that is wonderful. It's nice to know that you're doing good for the uh, community, so so to speak. Got it. Have well, a good night, guys. We do our best. Back soon, not I everybody can agrees, but vodka. that's to be expected. The trade post was thriving tonight, as I bumped into many old friends, namely Connor Samuels, Henry Taggart, a fellow Brit and Lewis Ghost Richardson, whom I had shared drinks with in the past. I decided to ask Connor 
if he could take me to the computer once more, as my camera was almost out of battery. Oh, come on, you stupid bloody... Wonderful. Uh, Alright then, chaps. Yeah, Let's go. Can. Let's go right by the truck, wherever the bloody hell it is. I don't know where it is, but, uh, okay. With my camera dying, Connor agreed to take me, Henry, and Ghost to the radio tower, where I'd been able to charge my batteries previously. Yes, yes, you'll all be part of my documentary if I ever get round to getting out of here and finding a, a decent computer that I can edit it all up on. Oh, we're obviously us three in the back here, we're very big explorers, we'll keep an eye out for some place with some decent tech for you. That would be wonderful. You know how old Henry is, he probably fell asleep already. Oh, here he is, he's awake. No, of course I'll, I will show you the finished video. You'll, you'll all hopefully be able to see it. I'll screen it, even, when it's done. Whenever that is. My adventure is still not over. I'm not dead yet, or I'm not out of this bloody country yet. I may ask, is, does, are you going to get airlifted out of here when your thing is finished, or have you got to find your own way off the island? I'll be honest, I was sent here by my parents, and my my ride kind of crashed, so I don't have any idea how I'm going to get out of here. Well, believe me, you're, you're one of the people that will attempt to get off the island if we ever find a way off ourselves. Thank you very much, friend. I appreciate that. Henry doesn't stop talking about you. Constantly worried if you're okay. Ah, uh, Henry. You don't have to be like that, old chap. But thank you. Your concern moves me. Makes me happy. We finally made it to the radio tower, as my battery power was looking slimmer by the second. Fortunately, while checking my backpack, I found a spare battery which I had completely forgotten about. I am a silly bastard sometimes. Everything seems to be in order. We're still A-OK. -okay. Yeah, and my battery up, is uh, charging uh, as we speak. Just a few more minutes and uh, we should be OK to leave. Like Thank you very much, Connor, sure for taking me here once again. Where exactly is this on the map? So I can uh, make my journeys here myself. The light on the charger... Ko Koala 3? Why do we call it Koala 3? Connor showed me the reason for the tower being called Koala 3. It was quite simple, really. <laughs> yes, now I can, uh, now I can see why. Koala three. Yes, I understand. <laughs> and that is what it should be known henceforth. Koala three productions. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, I could never pronounce that. Alright then, well I think we're pretty much set to go. Yes. Oh yes, let's go have a look at the view. I, I wouldn't mind getting a, a shot from up there anyway, so I guess I'll just go on. Oh, oh my. Wait, one okay. at a time, one at a time, up the tower. Oh, bloody hell, don't look down, don't look down. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's wonderful. As I stood at the top of that radio tower, I began to feel something magical. I felt like I was home, in the country, with nothing but my camera and not a care in the world, for the first time in a long time. I felt happy. Wonderful. Oh, okay. Oh my what? god, I look down. I look down. I look down. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going down. As we left Koala 3, I realized once more that this place was starting to become important to me. Almost like a symbol of home. And I had to remember to keep this a secret for any unwanted visitors. Back at the trade post, we sat down near the fire. Connor's friend Lilia and another woman, Alice, told us stories of the dreaded council 
and how they had survived a big attack up north. It still amazed me that all this time I'd been here, I had still yet to encounter these horrid folk. I was kind of relieved, actually. It's unclear to me what they even want from us, who they really are, or what they plan to accomplish within Chernerus. It raised many questions. Questions that I would hope to answer someday. As people departed throughout the night, I was left speaking to Viktor Chebrikov. He told me of how he'd been tortured. Information at the price. My information is priceful. A price weird. But hey, come on, you you're a major part of my documentary and you know this. Can't you just uh, loan me this information? Eh fine, why not? Ah, you are a gentleman, Victor, you are a gentleman indeed. Yeah, very gentlemanly. Yeah, but anyways the I got my finger cut off, basically because uh, back when the uh, Watchers were still Victor's friend, uh, they, they, uh, I met uh, uh, Amy, Daisy, and some named Mima up at Chernobyl. Oh yes. And yes, yeah, and I went with them to to a little camp out by Slavisky. It's like right outside the island, it's by the shoreline of Genaro. And we went on a boat to Skobiski. Are you a typer? And yeah. I, I thought we were going to have a grand old oh, time in the boat here. But let's uh, have a campfire type of thing. And the and and the and the but but the what thing. happened was that instead yeah. I got four of oh, yeah. stripped of my weapons and belongings and tortured. By Amy and Daisy? By, by, very military. <laughs> by every one of those fucking watchers. Oh. Especially Connor so and the shit. I am sorry. I, I got shot in the leg. Archer, I had to walk over a hot coal. I had to get shot in the It was this. Well, I am sorry, Victor. I didn't realize you'd been through such traumatizing uh, events. Oh, I feel rather... Is traumatizing? Is that traumatizing? Wait, you weren't affected by this? <laughs> no, I'm surprised they didn't take more. Are you serious, man? Yeah, I'm serious. Well, I want you to go through all this trouble of getting into an island and torturing me. They have to finish the job, shouldn't they? Seriously. Uh, I, I guess so, but... Alright, that's the way you think of it. So it's more of uh, an adventure yes. for you than to do again. <laughs> an adventure. I don't like a nuisance. He didn't seem bothered by it. I didn't seem too bothered either. I think this place was starting to take its toll on me. We chatted for a while, but it wasn't long before I set off back down to the coast. Only, I had no idea what was yet to come. Does it not? It looks a bit rusty, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. But, you know, it works, I guess. Test it out. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. That's... Very. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry, gentlemen. He, he, he said he, uh, he fixed the wheel, but. The hell? Oh, dear lord. Oh. Ow. Ow. Uh, help me. Oh, you please, you, you cannot, you cannot do this. Count no, down no. from five. Out loud. I don't want to hear. No, please, you, you, you. Like, I didn't, I didn't Do shoot. Do it, boy. I'll start. Five. No. Four. Keep going. Keep it going. Th th three. Two. One.